having a, um, a a huge part of my classroom and has always been kind of a core principle for me as a teacher is um, starting the day on a positive note and doing mm -hmm. a morning meeting and talking about the core principles of having a growth mindset versus a fixed mindset or perseverance. Um, so doing those things. And when we first started our podcast, it was um, the mission was to inspire and spread positive messages around the world. So getting kids to um, take those messages, have to write their own scripts, kind of formulate their own. A lot of times, you know, fourth graders and nine-year-olds, they love to write little skits that mm -hmm. proves their point um, and perform them on the podcast. So getting them to take that learning and, you know, it could be a journal prompt, but if it's a one, they're going to write one sentence, shut the journal, no one's going to look at it. Right. When we look at the podcast and you can see that in the first 24 hours, it was viewed in 14 different countries around the world. Like that makes it real for them. Um, and it also kind of taps into that idea when we go around on the first day of school, like, oh, what do you want to be when you grow up? It's no longer doctor, teacher, firefighter, lawyer. Right. It's YouTuber, Twitch streamer. Right. So like instead of fighting against that, mm -hmm. why not harness it and right. let them have a platform that's safe, that we, we are helping them um, cultivate and build um, within our school system. So I think that's part of it. So, yeah, and another example I'll just share really quick is um, another time when we had to do a lot of learning ourselves, um, and that was when we were invited to go to Chicago uh, to one of Apple's uh, like corporate headquarters, yep. and we learned about um, some some of the coding apps that they were offering, and uh, you know they had this campaign, everyone can code, and so we had I I'm not a computer scientist, I don't right. I don't know anything, but um, you know they say that computer coding or you know knowing that as a language or knowing that as a as a way to convey meaning uh, is one of the most important skills that people will need in the future so bringing this back we like after we learned from experts in chicago then we got to help our students learn a little bit of basic coding with a couple of different apps on their ipads and then um, we said all right so now we're going to think about a problem that you that you can identify in the world and design an app so taking them through like kind of the design thinking process uh, design an app that would help to solve that problem and they made uh, basically these app prototypes mm. and then uh, we had a showcase day where uh, you know we took over the cafeteria and we invited our school board members we invited our central office team we invited um, some of the uh, computer teachers from the high school and middle school to come and check out like their ideas and their app ideas were amazing um, but giving them that audience, giving them, uh, you know, saying like, this is the, the showcase date. So you, you, mm -hmm. all of the work that you're doing is going to be shared with the world on this at this time. It made it real. It wasn't just for the teacher as the, as the only audience member. And it, the motivation was incredible. And like I said, the, the results that we got were, were just awesome. It was also that one was also an authentic task where right. it was like so, create an app to solve a real world problem. So it, it had all of those elements built into it.